It has been the nature and fundamental concept that the internet is a universal endpoint identification through protocol addressing since the 1980s. I can via a contract to incorporate the public technical identifiers (PTI) takes responsibility for the operation of coordinating the internet's unique identifiers and maintaining the trust of the community to provide these services on an unbiased basis. This section, we would like to ask: What is the nature of internet? And how to fulfill global public interests by means of the fundamental nature of the internet. Let's go back to the origin of the internet, while we are moving forward to the next era of internet. Maureen Hilliard brought up the strengths of the internet, which makes the communication of education in the Cook Islands of New Zealand more effective 18 years ago. But. At that time, internet. Now we're talking sort of like 2004. At that time, internet connection was slow, but the ability to actually communicate with their teachers, even in a short email,、um, reduced their previous、um, interaction time by months because they had to do their work in hard copy, and the irregular shipping to these islands meant that the, their work would take months. To get to their to their teachers in Wellington, so the internet for them became a lifeline, not only to connect their students to their enhanced learning opportunities, but also for the other advantages that their communities could gain from being introduced to the world outside of their tiny, isolated island existences. The story happened in the Cook Islands, just like what I can do to link the region of the world, the global public interest. GPI is tied to its mission and is a fundamental spirit of primary governance on the domain name system. With the global increase of internet usage and coming up issues, whether we have been experiencing that will probably lead us away from the fundamental concept of the internet or not. And the status quo triggers us to think about the following two questions. What is the nature of internet, and how to fulfill global public interest by means of the fundamental nature of the internet? Once you pass this entire global communications endeavour to this market-based private sector regime, it has its own agenda, and it's not yours. It's definitely not yours. It's theirs, and it's outside any form of national regulatory control. Just ask the poor old EU. Trying desperately hard to rein in aspects of data privacy, aspects of, of foreign control over their infrastructure, and their results ineffectual. Their ability to try and curb it nonsensical. From Jeff Houston's perspective, it seems that a public shared network is collapsing into collection of private content distribution systems that are neither open nor shared. Google, Amazon, Meta, and Microsoft are almost the only entities building more high-capacity undersea trunk infrastructure, and Starlink and Amazon are looking set to capture the low Earth orbit space of satellite communications. Those titans create a 900-pound gorilla, and how do you negotiate with a gorilla and even dig out its nature? In order to enjoy the fast, cheap, and ubiquitous internet, the best position for the users to observe might consider themselves as visitors. However, at Manchon supposes there is another role to play in finding answers. Government. Same thing because I think governments are also seeing that,、um, and they're recognizing that 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 problem, and therefore part of what I、uh, talked about in in my opening. Which is the the inclination towards protection? They want to protect their turf, but their turf is actually has already moved on, as、uh, as as Jeff mentioned.、Um, I think、uh, previous challenges to some of those uh, uh, policies or, or or positions that were created、uh, have tell, told us that that's that's probably not enough.、Um, When when there is a challenge towards what actually is or is not in global public interest,、um, there probably needs to be more uh, robust uh,、um, mechanism to identify that、um, the 
the, the, the community and um, the, the, the policymaking bodies have taken into consideration uh, different aspects of the global public interest. In the world of widening and inequity, Elman thinks that's what ICANN is working very hard on. In fact, just to let people know there is a GPI framework. It's called the Global Public Interest Framework. Basically, and it maps certain elements of policy to the ICANN bylaws and the objectives of the mission. Different approaches are taken by co-makers and lawmakers to cause conflict within the usage of the internet. Uh, this is a problem which will be with us um, also for the next decade, or for the next 25 years. So the uh, communication between code makers and lawmakers is unfortunately on a low level. And if we want to uh, move forward and to reach progress, we have to enhance the communication among the technical people and the policy people. So the elements of the um, uh, definitions are really interesting. Some people have this forgotten. The first thing is, it was said, governance of the internet cannot be done by one stakeholder alone. So it, it cannot be done by governments only, but it cannot be done by private sector only. So you need all stakeholders on one table. Wolfgang raises a new question. When political governance is so important to the web, to the relevant regulatory organization, become content please. It is significant to make the distinction while everything is linked on the internet. Yeah, the section uh, needs to end uh, now. Uh, thank you for our distinguished panelists. Uh, for, thank you for your time and uh, for your sharing uh, your insight with uh, all of us. I think the connectivity, sustainability, cooperation and the communication yeah, uh, will keep us uh, going forward to the next era of internet. The necessary for a new discussion may seem obvious. However, find a way to bring a certain reasonable order which would then protect the public interest in a way that all sides can benefit from this wonderful infrastructure should be valued.